Welcome to the Art Lady channel. Today's inspiration for our art project is going to be the Northwest Coast totem designs. And originally, it's pretty exciting, originally, over hundreds of years ago, these were actually used as part of the building. It was used to hold up the roof. You can see here, we have the two sides of the roof, and it was a giant, massive pole supporting the roof. It was part of the architecture of the building. And then they would decorate down the front of the totem pole or the pole, and it became a totem. They decorated it with animal images or signs of their relatives. So what their relatives clan or group or family was, they would decorate it with that image. Oftentimes it was of a wolf. Or here, an eagle at the top. Here's some more standing outside this building, a modern day, just as a decorative images. The designs would go down the whole pole, telling the history of the family of that house talking of their grandfathers and great-grandfathers and grandfathers before them. The images were often of eagles, bear is a symbol of a bear, buffalo. The images were sacred to the clan or the family that lived in the house. They wouldn't just pick an owl because they liked the owl. They would have picked something that had great meaning to them. Maybe when the child was born, they had dreams of salmon or beavers or turtles. And then they kept on seeing these images throughout the child's lifetime and that's how they developed that symbol or sign for that person or that family. There's wolf. And they all have meanings, these symbols. Loyalty and pride. Here's frogs. These are common, th common images that would have been found on traditional Northwest Coast totems. These images I have here. Raven or owl. There's a lot of more modern day images as well, but these are more traditional symbols. And these are the First Nations ancestral symbols. So we can think about that. Now our totem doesn't have to be these images. It could be images that mean something to you on your totem. But we're being inspired by the ancestors of our First Nation. The first step for this project is we're gonna be using um, some construction paper. And we're gonna to wanna to make the totem, and or you could use copy paper too, but I like the construction paper because it gives a nice color to the background. But we're gonna start out with a standard sheet of construction paper, and we wanna draw in some of these guidelines. So that's the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do. And I'm gonna draw it with my, um, I'm gonna start with a brown piece today. So we're gonna fold this. We want the first guideline, which is the center. So I'm gonna fold this in half. And I'm gonna do a long fold for this. It's gonna be a vertical fold. I wanna take the longest side, and notice this is shorter, longer. I'm gonna take the longest side and bring it to the longest side. Match up my edges. After we crease it, we open it up, and now we'll have a nice straight line down the middle as our fold. So I'm gonna draw right down the line. That's where I'm going to be cutting. And then I'm going to go to the top section. And if we look here, the top section, I'll show you on my worksheet here, it's smaller. The part that we're going to be cutting out, here's the center of our worksheet. So this is your paper here, your construction paper. The very center is here. If you notice, the cut line is going to be above the middle. So I'm at the middle, so we're going to jump up a little bit and draw a horizontal line on this side. So we find the center, we jump up a little bit, 
and I'm gonna go across the page horizontally to make my square shape. From the square shape, we're just gonna draw a straight line here on the corner, corner to corner, right up the side. This is what our lines will be for cutting. We're gonna then cut out all the pieces. I first start cutting on the straight line, right here. The longest straight line. Then I'm gonna cut the square out. So I have two rectangles and a square. Now if you look, the square, that line down the middle here, made it two triangles. Now I have my shapes. I've got a long rectangle, a shorter rectangle, and then I've got my triangles. If we take our shapes now, I'm gonna put my triangles aside because I'm gonna explain those in a minute, but let's just take our shapes and we're gonna glue them together, the two rectangular shapes. I'm just gonna simply open the glue stick. And when I open the glue stick, I never open up the glue or twist it so that it's really large. I have it barely sticking up because I don't want this glue stick to smush over the edges. So barely sticking up, give it maybe one half twist. I'm just gonna draw on the top edge of the totem here. I'm gonna bring my glue back down and I'm gonna cap it to a snap it. You wanna make sure you have a little snap there going on. You don't want the white edge of the glue stick showing when you cap it. So it's just gonna be like this, right down completely. Now some of my glue sticks that my kids use make a snap. Cap it to snap it. Now I'm gonna take, here's the glue on the top edge. I'm just gonna simply place the top part right on here, just a little bit overlapping, and press. So I have my long piece of totem right here now. Now let's look at the triangles. This is where it gets kind of confusing. So if we put our triangles back together the way they were, the two diagonals, one of these is gonna get glued on this side here. So I'm gonna take one, if you look here, here it is the way it was, separate it. I wanna make it look like this. I wanna bring, let's look in the worksheet. I'm gonna be putting glue on the two shortest sides, but if you notice, the triangles are pointing up. Let's look here. They're pointing up the diagonal, okay? They go diagonally up from the bottom side. So there's a top side of the triangle and a bottom side. The bottom side's the diagonal. That's important. So this is gonna end up going over here, like so. And I do all my gluing on the back. So this goes here. Now once I place the first one, double check, is it pointing up? And this is the straight side. Okay, and then the second one, if I do it the same, look what's gonna happen. This is pointing down. So I need this one to point up. So I flip it over. That way, they're both pointing up and this is the straight edge. This is gonna be my back. It's got my glue area. It's got my lines. So what I'm gonna do on the back open up my glue again. I'm gonna take and put a little bit of glue here. And notice, I didn't do it right at the top. I've jumped down a little bit. Put some glue, place my triangle, and I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Come across, I want it lined up. You don't want one low and one high, you want them equal distance. So I put my glue the same on this side. And now I'm gonna just make sure that they're lined up here. Just give a visual. 
And you notice they're overlapping. This overlaps just a little bit from the edge to give it some support. Give it a little rub. And now, close the glue stick and we're ready to decorate. Let's look at the front here and see what we got. Now we have our totem, just like so. Now we're ready to design our totem. So let's look at this one that I started designing. The first thing you wanna do and think about, first of all, is what are some animals or signs or symbols that you, that really have special meaning to you? Think about that. If you look at the uh, First Nations ancestral symbols, some of these may have meaning to you as well. For example, the buffalo, I really connect with the buffalo. When I learned about the buffalo's history, um, I had deep, uh, you know, sympathy for the buffalo. They were almost extinct, down to 300 buffalo at one point. And when I went out to see them this summer, I felt a great connection to the buffalo. You may have great connections to some of the other ancestral animals as well. So let's just go over real quickly what some of them are. Here's the eagle, and these are just some of the meanings. There are, there are many uh, Native American clans and tribes that have different meanings for these animals, and this is just a representation of some of them. So here's just some quick, quick, I kind of consolidated many tribes together. So the bear, strength and power. The eagle, love and creation. That was their symbol for all life. The salmon was the provider and, the, and determined because it has to swim, swim upstream, so a determined creature. Also, they relied on that for food as well. And the beaver has a lot of determination. Is an animal with a very powerful, strong front teeth that can actually cut down a tree with their teeth. And when I was a kid, we had a lot of our trees that were taken down by beaver, beavers. So then we have the wolf here, the loyalty and pride. The frog is a fortune, water, peace. Turtle is longevity. A lot of turtles live over 100 years old. And the wisdom of the owl and the honesty and magical spirits of the raven. So these are just some of the animals you might want to use. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, design our totem. And if you space it out, you can probably put, um, here's a larger one here, you could probably put between four and five, I want to say, totem designs on the totem pole. But when you do decorate your totem pole, I'm gonna show you some mistakes or tell you some mistakes that my kids did. Sometimes my kids would put things that are too small on the totem pole. They wouldn't bring the image to the very edge of the totem pole. And if you look here, let's check out this one. You can see it takes up the whole width, the design of the totem pole. So the images were quite large. And they were 3D, so it went right around the whole pole. So what you don't want to do is to put your design really small in the middle. If we look here at the back here on this totem pole, and it's side to side. It takes up the whole pole, the designs. That's kind of cool right there. So you want to make sure that when you choose your images, you do nice, big, bold shapes. Almost uh, a lot of geometric shapes are used here. And on this worksheet, you can see the one that's completed. You can use this worksheet, and I'll put a link to the worksheet. Uh, just click on the title and it'll take you to the links. Um, my students did both freehand drawings of their designs like I did here, and some kids just cut out from my worksheet and glued them onto the totem. And now I'm gonna show you some of my student examples.